afternoon, Crafty Peeps. So we are going to work on our first July Craftology box tutorial. And this, we are going to use um, our corset. And you will get one of these in your Craftology box. If you don't, I do have a file downloaded um, into our Facebook files um, for this particular image. Now, when I first printed it out, let me show you real quick. What did I do with it? Okay, here it is. So when I first printed it out, it printed out a smaller version. So this was just me hitting print, okay? Um, and then the next time I went ahead and enlarged it a little. And um, I made this is, um, okay, well, it's about eight and a half, a little larger. Well, I'm not actually going to use a frilly part. So this is going to be eight and a half inches. And I would say that the widest portion of this is five and a half. So it's up to you which size you want. So what I want to do so that I can use this over and over again, and I'm going to go with this large one because I'm going to make a pocket letter. Not a pocket letter. I'm sorry, a um, loaded envelope. And last time I did this before and I made it as a corset. But this time I decided to use the same little thing, but I'm going to do a bikini. So I'm going to, let me, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on here with my art glitter glue. Again, that's sold in Tamara's store. And if you're new, her store is countrycraftcreations.com. So I'm just going to get this pretty much full of glue so that it sticks well. Because I'm going to lay it down and then cut around this okay so I really want it to be pretty uh, on there solidly in fact I can move it down a little bit even though it's hanging off the page I don't care because I'm going to cut this off I'm just going to burnish it in to make sure it's on there really well okay Hold on one second. Mia, can you put the food in the oven? And then I'm just going to cut around it. And I'm not cutting the lace part because I don't need that on my bikini. Unless you want to. So let me turn my scissors this way. Just cutting away some of this. Yeah, it has to be this way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trace two of these and then cut them out for my. Um, starting of my loaded envelope. Okay, so if you have your extended kit, your six by six will actually work for this. And I was thinking, what do I want my swimsuit to look like? And I'm kind of thinking about polka dots or I like the flamingos too, but I really like the watermelons. Let me see how that would look for a swimsuit. Watermelons. We could do, Ooh, this would be real pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this. So basically, 
I'm going to do some tracing again. And I know I only need about half of the swimsuit. I'm going to do a retro size swimsuit. So I'm just going to trace around this. Oops. Let me start that over again. Okay. In fact, let me just do this upside down. I apologize if my son is being loud. So I'm going to go up to this line right here that I can see along my corset. And underneath here, I'm going to line it up as well. So that it's even. And then now all I have to do is just cut that out. And if you have any pencil showing, um, all you have to do is trim that off. And if you want to go around your edges, I'm going to do that with some sepia. And I really want to go around her waist here. And I will need to clean up some of this pencil mark that I've got on here. Let me go ahead and we're going to give her a little bit of a tan and some shape. And these brushes are really perfect for that. So now our little model has a little bit of a tan going on. In fact, that lets me know I need to move this down a little bit. And it's looking really pretty. Then I'm just going to take my art glitter glue. and attach my little swimsuit there. Then now we need to do our top. And I'm thinking I might have enough left over on here. First of all, I need to cut off this bottom piece. So let me get that out of the way. And I can go as far back 
there we go. <clears throat> so now I'm going to just again line it up. I'm just going to go this black line right there so I can kind of see what I'm doing and then line this up a little bit further down. And that's looking pretty good. So maybe I need to go a little bit. Now, I think I'm not liking this little retro um, length where it's not totally bare. And then I'm just going to cut around here and erase any pencil marks. Oh my goodness, that's looking so cute. Now, if I think that there's anything that is coming out through it, I can go ahead and trim that off before I attach it. And I'll be right back. Now, for my straps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably do, I'm going to say a half inch seems appropriate to me, maybe five eighths. Let's do, meh, let's do a half. So I'm just going to do two of these, and I'm probably going to trim this, but this is about eight and a half inches, so a half inch by eight and a half. And you have a couple ways that you could do this. What I probably would do, you could either have it where it crosses over like this. Okay. So then, of course, obviously we'd only really need one piece. Let me just do this in half. So four and a quarter, I split it in half. And then I'm going to want to do another one, but with pattern paper. And so how I would do mine would be at an angle. So I think I'm going to take off another inch on each one. So I'll just put them together. Oh, wait, no, a half inch. I'm going to take off another half inch. Okay. So I'm thinking this is about where I want it. Let me see. Yeah. Nothing too scientific here. Okay, and then I'm going to do some pattern paper. So let me find one. I think I'm going to do, I think I, I'll just stick with the same pattern. 
I might do the opposite side. That might look real cute. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do a half inch. Then another half. Do four and a quarter minus another half. Then I can go ahead and distress my edges to keep it going with the rest of the pattern here. Okay. And I'm just going to add them right on there. And then with my bow maker, um, which is my one, two, three punch board by We Are Memory Keepers, I'm going to go ahead and let me see what the directions say for a bow. We will do a one inch wide bow. So, a six inch piece of paper cut at one inch. Okay. And then it says I need one cut at three and a half. I'm sorry, yeah, six. Oh, I need several of them. Oh my. Okay, hold on. This one, I probably just have to do one more. Okay, so um, one at six inch. One at three and a half. And then one at a quarter inch. Then I guess these can we can save those for something else. And then on my six inch, it looks like I'm going to punch it at three, turn it, punch it at three, and then. And I'll just trim this here. And then on my second one, I'm going to center this. You're going to put the dishes up? Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put my bow together. Okay. 
So I'm just going to hold this together with my art glitter glue. I'm probably doing this wrong, but I'm going to make it work. And then I'll make another punch at one and three quarters and one and three quarters. There. Now I did it right. It's been a while since I've made one of these bows. So, oh, and before I actually glue it all together, I'm going to go ahead and use my Distress Ink again. Try to fluff up my bow a little bit. And these edges up here. And then just glue it down. And then do the same thing for this little piece. Hold it with my fingers for a second to make sure it's dry. And then in the meantime, while that's drying over here, I can go ahead and eat this up again. And then I'm actually going to cut this in half. And just line it up. And that should look cute. Sorry for all the racket. My daughter is emptying the dishwasher and trying not to make racket, but she really is. So then again, anything that's kind of gone over the edge, I'll go ahead and just trim that off. And make sure that's all glued down in there. And that looks like that side glued down really well. I'm going to get out my score tape. And you could use your glitter glue at this point, but 
Um, I wouldn't only because I think that you'd have to sit there and hold it down each time. And I'm only going to go right up to here because I want to allow a hand to be able to fit in there and other supplies that I'm going to put in here like embellishments. Okay, burnish all those in. And I'm just gonna start. Okay, I kind of decided not to make it very expandable. Um, it just kind of doesn't work with one that's so small. So we will go ahead and just take off our tape. And then gently, you know, put them together, trying to keep it even. Oh, my goodness. Of course, you want to move. And then again, you're going to burnish it in. And don't worry about the stuff hanging over. You can go ahead and adjust that. Oops, I guess I'm going to have to. Okay. So I'm trying to get it to dry, but I don't want to squish it down. There we go. I gotta go underneath. Okay. And then it'll dry shortly. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh my word. Isn't it looking really super cute so far? So then I'm just going to trim anywhere where it didn't line up properly. And then re-add my ink. Burnish it in. And now you have your little pocket. So you can add in some candy or some other little fun stuff. Some little embellishments. This is kind of more a little bit along the smaller side. So I'm also going to draw a little belly button on my frame here. And I have some of my Prima pencils from Tamara Store. I'm going to start off light in case I make some boo-boos. So I think it's looking pretty good. So cute. And I'm 
just going to gently kind of blend in a little bit here. Give her some more pink color here. And then I'm just going to blend this in with some cam saw and hopefully this, I didn't mess up. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. I'm going to wipe off some of the cam saw on my hand and attempt to Blend this in. And I think it's looking pretty good. This Gamsol will dry and then it's going to look super cute. Um, so that's it. At this point, all you have to do is decorate it. So I will be back with the finished project. Well, I'm really excited how my little bikini loaded envelope turned out. Um, you could probably put some like little candy in here or some fun dip or something you know, you could put whatever you want in there, like a candy bar, gift card, um, and then you could fill out the back if you want to, um, or tuck the note on the inside. Um, again, I use the Echo Park Summer Fun, which is our July Craftology box. But right here for the flowers, I used um, Tamara's Bow Budding Craft Die. That's at countrycraftcreations.com. And then um, I used, well, these are the 6x6 six six paper pad and the decorative brads were from the add-on kit, just to let you know. And then, of course, I just used my 3-in-1 punch board by We Are Memory Keepers to do my little bow here. And I'm really loving how it turned out. I think the brads on there really kind of bling out, you know, bling it out a little bit. And then I also use some tiny little sequins on here too, which I think we got from a previous Craftology box a while ago. And I've just been using them up like crazy lately uh, because I'm loving the fun summer colors. So I hope y'all like how it turned out. And I cannot wait to see y'all's. Well, thank you and have a fabulous day. Bye, y'all.